Hello, hello. Let's get started. Because there's like a 90% chance that I'm going to get interrupted by a child. If you ever send out an email to your people and ask them what they want to talk about, do not feel like you have to answer every single one of them. Do not feel like you have to be that person. Do not feel like you have to be the like end all be all of all of the knowledge in the entire universe. Like when we're talking about like if you ever send out a survey to your people and you start getting a bunch of different responses, do not feel like you have to answer every single one of them. Just don't. Please trust me on this. Like this is just something that like I I have made this mistake in the past. I've asked my people what they wanted to hear about and the answers that I got, some of them were all over the place. Um, some of them made me, and this is like, again, this, everything kind of points back to you. Everything points back to where we as people see ourselves and see our businesses and shortcomings that we might have. So I never wanted anybody to ever feel excluded. And so I was, when I sent out um, my first like survey, I guess, of my email list, I was like, what do you guys want to hear more about? And this is no shade or anything, but there's a time and a place when it comes to like knowing your own niche and your own audience and your, your list and what they want to hear about. And more importantly, what you want to talk about. That's the biggest thing. Like if you take nothing away from this is that there's so much when it comes down to like business, there's so much of it that is up to you. It is completely and purely up to you. So I was getting email responses from people. What do you want to hear about? And it was, I want to hear about, um, I, you need to talk more about like retirement and living on, um, social security income. Now, uh, what I could have done was look at that and go, oh, okay, I'm not going to do that because I have no frame of reference. Like my people, my target audience are young families, are young moms, are moms between the ages of 25 and 40. Like those are my primary audience. So would they have any need to know about social security and disability income? Probably not. And I'm not qualified to talk about that. So I'm not going to do that. But instead, I got this email and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not I'm leaving some people out. They want to hear about this. Oh, no. What am I doing? And instead, what I could should have done was just looked at it and go, oh, OK, there are other people out there on the Internet who talk about that. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. But instead of saying that, I took it as a I'm doing something wrong. There's something that I'm doing wrong that I'm not meeting everybody's needs. Um, one of my other friends, she spoke at a conference and her website says the name mom in it. Mom, frugal mom or whatever it was. Um, I can't remember what her website is. I'm so bad. Um, but she got an email from somebody who was a guy who was like, um, you need to start talking to dads. You need to start talking to dads as well. She's like, no, because it says thrifty mom in my name. I'm not going to talk to dads. They're not my target audience. Like, so it's really difficult when you're looking at like your marketing and your messaging um, to be able to say like, okay, I hear that you want that. I take that piece of information that you are putting out there. I take that information and what can I do with it? Well, I can look at it and say, okay, or I can look at it and say, oh, I'm doing something wrong. I need to include this in my content. Will it bring in the right people? No. But somebody felt left out, so I had to do this, you know? So that's something that you need to keep in mind when it comes to your people in general. Um, every single piece of content that you have. Ask yourself, if this went viral, if this went viral, would I get the right people on my list? If this went viral today, would this fill my list with people who are ready and willing to buy from me? If the answer is no, then don't write that piece of content. If the answer is no, get rid of that opt-in off of your site. Um, if the answer is no, but the post is getting you a lot of traffic, make sure that you change the opt-in 
to match your primary niche, the content that you actually want to talk about so that you don't feel like you are trapped talking about essential oils if your blog isn't about essential oils, but you have that one post that did well a few years ago and it's still getting traffic. You don't have to delete the post. You just have to make sure that your opt-ins reflect what it is that you're talking about now. The direction that you want to go with your business now. So that's my, my big spiel about that. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic week. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with your blogs and businesses this week. And so uh, I will see you guys around. Bye. Bye.